Hello, my name is Dr. John Garside, and I'm here to tell you about a £190,000 investment opportunity in my business, Slim PC. First of all, I'd like you to imagine a product market worth an incredible $130 billion. And I'd like you to imagine that 99% of the products in that market look almost identical. In fact, take that a step further. I'd like you to imagine that despite incredible advances in the technology that goes inside the products, the biggest innovation in the last 20 years in the way the product looks has been to paint the boxes a different colour. Now I'd like you to imagine entering that $130 billion undifferentiated market with a product that's truly differentiated. A product that has all the power, flexibility and upgradability of the conventional desktop PC, but introduces revolutionary style, improved ergonomics and still manages to keep cool and quiet. Well that's exactly what Slim PC have done. And whether a customer wants a budget 15-inch display eco PC or a fully loaded home media server with built-in widescreen TV, DVD and video to hard drive recorder, our unique patent pending and DTI Smart Award winning integration technology has the power and flexibility to meet all of their needs. Bearing all this in mind, I strongly believe that Slim PC represents a very good and solid investment opportunity and I welcome any further questions you may have. Thank you. John wants the Dragons to invest £190,000 in his designer personal computer and he's prepared to give away 25% of the business. Dr John, what's your doctor in? Is that a uh, GP? My, it's a PhD in uh, a mixture of electronics, uh, biology and physics. Okay. You said you were going to introduce something with revolutionary new style. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Here. What's different about it? The difference is that we've, first of all, we've integrated the LCD display onto the platform. However, what we've done with this is actually integrated it in a completely flexible manner. You said revolutionary new style. Well, we've introduced natural materials like hardwood, which in an environment where you're looking at aesthetics, that's revolutionarily different. There's a, a lot of wiring we put there. Is this going to switch on? Uh, we can switch it on, yeah. And is there any purpose? Would it show me anything that would interest uh, me? It or does everything that a PC does. So all we'll show you is this thing switching on and acting like a PC. I mean, yeah. the, the key benefit here is that you've got something that takes less room than a PC, but does everything that the PC does. John, there's, there's, there's lots of people making PCs, and I don't see any difference in that one. And it's not something that you've convinced me of nothing. Um, unless you convince me very quick, it's not something that I would want to invest in. OK. Now, say you've got a small... Um, designer apartment, say something like this building here where you've got a modern sort of industrial look to it, or say you're a student where you haven't got much room. If you take one of these things in the home media server version, which has a TV in it, the uh, DVD player in it, really everything that you'd want as an entertainment centre, then that's all you need. Say you're a student going away to university, um, you've been using your parents' computer at home, you that's know, everything I, you need. I can only say two words, I'm out. John's lost Duncan Bannatyne, who just doesn't like his design. Simon Woodruff is also unimpressed. I spent 15 years as a designer, John, so I've got an eye. Yep. Um, that's not a finished thing. Screws are sticking out, all sorts. I don't like it aesthetically. I'm not investing. Two dragons down already, and finding £190,000 from the remaining three is going to be tough. John now faces a battle to tempt Rachel Elnor to invest. Can I just ask how much it retails at? It will retail, uh, uh, it will depend on the model and what goes inside there. Uh, it will retail at between £699 and around £1,000. Right, OK. So, so it's it not remarkably cheap or anything? It represents um, the mid range of the spectrum for the PC products. Yeah. Research. I can see what you've tried to do. You've, you've sort of taken the digital radio, radio approach and, and done the sort of retro kind of wood wrap with the brushed aluminium. But, but to say that this is a cutting edge, new, revolutionary mm -hmm. approach to computers, and even if it was, you're up against so much competition from people like Dell who can just put you out of business, snuff you out of business in I a moment. I don't think they can because what we've done with this is we've actually aimed at the, the niche end of the market. Don't forget we're so only looking for 0.0. you've got a patient over using wood as a, as a material because that to me is the only differentiator at the moment, the fact the, it's got wood on it and it's not plastic. The key differentiator is um, the flexibility of it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not going to back you. It's not going well for John. His main problem seems to be that none of the dragons have liked his computer design. 
Its retro styling and hardwood panels just haven't impressed them. John now needs to interest Peter Jones and Doug Richard in the product, the two dragons who know most about the industry he's trying to break into. I've spent my entire adult life in the computer industry. Um, and I'll, st I'll start with the bottom line. I won't be investing today. Okay. I actually think it's an unattractive unit. That, that that's does a personal, that's personal view. Hang on, let me finish my thought. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with you. That's a very personal judgment I'm making. Most people feedback that they actually really like the appearance yeah. of it. That's great. Um, the best thing you could do, the best thing you could do would be to go to a much broader audience so that you can hear the reality of what you're up against because this is not investable. This, that is not an innovation. And the only thing I do is wish you the best of luck. John's been battered by the dragon so far. Duncan Bannatyne, Simon Woodruff, Rachel Elnor and Doug Richard have all given him short shrift. His only chance is Peter Jones, who made a large slice of his business fortune working in the computer industry. You mentioned, obviously, you're a doctor. Yep. Um, uh, uh, I actually think you need one. <laughs> um, if you're classing that as a slim PC, I'm flabbergasted, because that is no... I, I've seen much smaller PCs. I've seen much thinner computers. Let, let me answer that. I think the whole terminology of a slim PC clearly doesn't match what you've just brought today. Okay. We actually did the original concept model of this being quite a lot smaller than this one is. However, so we actually abandoned the plans to go with that because... You design. abandoned previous plans to go with that. Mm -hmm. That's not innovation. That is back to drawing board. And, second, and the th second thing I've got to say is you're entering now a seriously competitive marketplace, probably the most competitive marketplace there is. And there have been many, many, many fa failures. You have no differentiator whatsoever. That is not a slim PC. I don't think it's ever going to be an investment. You will, I'm not putting my money into something like that. And for those, all of those reasons, I'm out. This will go to market. We will sell it. Uh, we will be presenting at an investor conference in Thanks, October. John. It is going to be a success, chaps. Good luck. Thanks, John. Thank you for your time. So, an unusually rough ride in the dragon's den. Dr. John Garside felt the full force of the dragon's disdain. They just didn't think his designer computer was well designed. Oh, my. God. Why did we take so long? It's true, actually. Um, that was a waste I don't know. That was, that was the, the single least defensible proposition I have ever seen in my adult life. He, how can he look at that and think that he's got a product?